Hello everyone, I am Pujita from Talent Battle. Welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to check the previous year puzzle solving questions from Infosys. As we know, Infosys is going to hire 2023 batch students through on-campus placements. This video will help you to prepare for that. You can also join our social media platforms like Telegram groups, Instagram pages and WhatsApp groups where we constantly give updates on placement preparations and off-campus placements. Links for all of those are in the description box. So before we start, do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications about our videos. So we will be solving the puzzle questions now. So let's see the first question. So the puzzle questions will be of two marks and three marks too. So they used to give you four questions which belongs to two marks and three marks. Now we are going to see the mixture of questions which belongs to both categories, two marks and three marks. Now here is the first question. So it's like a pain. This is one set, this is one set and this is one set. Now we need to identify what is this number in this particular question mark. So let's concentrate upon the first box. So if you see, there is middle number everywhere. So most probably the remaining four numbers could have we used to get this middle number. So what are the remaining four numbers? We have 12 and 13 in a horizontal manner, a vertical manner, and then 27 and 18 in a horizontal manner. Okay, so maybe we will first take like this, vertical and horizontal manner. They might even take... 12 and 27, 12 and 18, maybe 13 and 18 or 13 and 27 also. Okay, so first we'll check like this. 12 and 13. The middle number is just 20. So that was quite small number. So let us go with the addition. 12 plus 13 is how much? 25. So the sum between this two is 25. And similarly, here, what is the sum? 27 plus 18, it is 45. So, the difference between the sums, if you observe 25 and 45, the difference between their sums is nothing but 20. Maybe that is what they has written here. The difference between the sum of numbers in horizontal and vertical num manner is written in the middle. So, how can I confirm it? I'll cross check with this. 6 plus 9. And here 16 plus 12. The difference between this two is supposed to be equal to 13. So, 6 plus 9 is 15. And then 16 plus 12 is 28. So the difference between 28 and 15 is 13. Satisfied. So what is the number that comes in the place of question mark? 5 plus 4, which is 9. And 10 plus 11, which is 21. So the difference between 21 and 9, which is 12. So what is the answer? Option C. So one question from the puzzle. So they has just added the numbers in the horizontal manner and the vertical manners and the difference between both of them is written in the middle. Okay, so that's one of the question. So now let's see a few more. So 4, 5, 8, 16, 6, 4, 2, 5, 12, 9, 3, question, uh, 9, 3, 7 and question mark. Observation is also actually one of the important things that you can do in puzzles problems. If you observe them carefully, just observe the last digit. Everywhere, the last digit is a huge number. So maybe the logic will be between these numbers. They use 4, 5 and 3 to get. 4, 5 and 3 are used to get 2, 16. And then maybe 6, 4 and 2 is used to get 5, 12. And now 9, 3 and 7 should be used to get what number? If you even more observe carefully, 6 uh, cube is nothing but 216 and 8 cube is nothing but 512. If you observe that, these are cubes of the numbers. And even if you look at your options, this is also 5 cube, this is also 7 cube and this is again 6 cube and this is 4 cube. Everything is in the form of cubes. Maybe they got the result in 6 and the cube of that number could be written. So by using 5, 4 and 3, how do we get 6? Uh, let's just add them first. If I add all of this 3, that is not going to give me 6. But if I add the first one, subtract this last one, that will give me 6. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 minus 3 is 6. So first 2 are added and the third number is subtracted. And the resultant cube is written. Maybe we will think so now if I take the next page, 6, 4 and 2, first 2 should be added and the next number should be subtracted. So 10 minus 2 is 8. So 8 cube is nothing but 5, 12. Yes, correct. 5, 12 is written over here. 
So same procedure, 9, 3 and 7 are our numbers. So 9 plus 3 minus 7 we should take. Yes. So 9 plus 3 is nothing but 12. 12 minus 7 is 5. So the number that should be mentioned is 5 cube, which is 125. So what is the answer? Option A, 125, 5 cube. 5 cube should be written over there, which is 125. Okay, so even little bit observation is important. If you just try to get 216 by using 4, 5 and 3 without observing that it is a 6 cube or this is an 8 cube, it will consume so much of your time. So cubes and squares also have a little idea about the cubes and squares of the numbers. So here we have one more. Again, there is a middle number. If you observe, 38 is in the middle. 38 is in the middle. And here also middle. So maybe 101, 43 and 35 and 15 are used to get 38. So let us take first in a horizontal manner or so vertical manner. So let us consider 101 and 35 as a pair first and 43 and 15 as a pair. So let's try to do like the same procedure. I will first add them. 101 plus 35 is how much? 136. And this side also 43 plus 15 is 58. So, is the difference between them 38? No, the difference between them is not 38. It is 78. Uh, so, we'll not check with this. We'll check any other. So, let us take 101 and 43 maybe now. 101 and 43. 35 and 15. No, this difference will also not satisfy. Even if you check, this is 144 here. And here, the sum is 35 plus 15, which is 50. So, the difference between both of them also not. So, now maybe diagonal manner can also be taken. 101. Why am I checking with addition and subtraction? Because the number which is written 38 is a small number. If you do multiplication with 101 or 43, that kind of numbers, the resultant will be huge. That's why I'm checking maybe they're added and subtracted. So, let us take like this diagonal manner maybe. So, 101 and 50, 15 might be taken as a pair. And then 43 and 35 might be taken as a pair. So, this is a possibility. So, we has checked both 101 and 35. No, 101 and 43. This kind is also known. So, now this might be a possibility. So, let us check. So, 101 plus 15 is uh, 116 here. And then 43 plus 35 is 78 here. So, what is the difference between 78 and 116? Yes, 38 correct. So, correct. So, let us apply the same logic here. So, diagonal manner means 48 and 184 and then 56 and 34. This addition should be there and then you need to subtract them. So, 48 plus 184. Uh, 48 plus 184 is equals to 232 and then here 56 plus 34 is equals to 90. So, so, the difference between this two is our answer, which is 232 minus 90, 142. So, what's the answer? Option C, 142 is the correct answer. We have one more question here. If I observe 5, 380 and 4, 380 is a huge number. And similarly, this also, 2, 236 and 8. Again, 236 is a huge number. So, 5 and 4 are used to get this number. If I just multiply 5 and 4 or if I add 5 and 4, definitely we will not get the uh, huge number 380. So, how can we use 5 and 4? If you clearly, if you little bit absorb them, 380 might be so close with the squares. 5 square is 25 and uh, 4 square is 16. Yes. So, 25 into 16 is how much? 400. But it is not 400. It is 380 means 400 minus 20. Maybe the product of squares, product of their squares minus 20. Actually, 20 can be product of these numbers too. If we will get whether they did minus 20 or they did product of these numbers if we apply in this case. Okay, why did I check with the squares? Because 380 is a huge number. If I just multiply or just add 5 and 4, it will not give us. So, 380 is a huge number. That why, that's why we have checked it. So, product of the squares minus 20 gave us 380 here. So, similarly, 2, 8 and 2, 36. So, 2 and 8. What is product of the squares? 2 square is 4. 8 square is 64. So, 4 into 64 is 256. So, 256 minus 20 itself. 
So it is not product of the numbers, it is minus 1D. So product of the squares minus 1D. Even if we check this, 7 square is 49, 2 square is 4. Minus 1D should give us 176. So 7 square is 49 into 4 is 196 minus 1D. Yes, 176. So what's our answer? 6 square into 3 square minus 20. So 6 square is 36, 3 square is 9 minus 20. So 36 into 9 will be 324 minus 20 means 304, not 324, 304. So what is the answer? Option D is the correct answer. So product of the squares minus a particular number, it is a constant. The 2020 they did, but even there is a possibility that product of the squares minus product of the numbers can also be there. So that's one kind of logic that was seen. So what's the answer? Option D. So we have one more. So there are four figures. Let us consider each figure separately. 15, 8, 7, 19, 11, 21, 32, 17. So let's first focus upon one particular figure. We will try to observe the logics. So you cannot just say the differences between these numbers. Uh, let's try to add these numbers. Maybe sometimes what will happen, the sum of all the, num uh, all the figures might be same. But suppose the sum might be 50, 50, 50 everywhere like that. So let me just add them. So 15 plus 8 is 23, 23 plus 7 is 30, 30 plus 19 is 49. So the sum here is 49. So let's even add this. Okay, so 11 plus 21 is 32, 32 plus 32 is 64, 64 plus 17 is 81. So the sum here is 49, but the sum here is 81, which is not same. But if I observe, these are squares, 49 is 7 square and 81 is 9 square. So let me even do the sum of these numbers, which are 74, 33, 16 and 46. We will even add these numbers also. So 74 plus 33 is 107 plus 16 plus 46 is going to give us 169, which is 13 square. 13 square. So what square should be here? So this was like this, 7 square, 9 square, 13 square. So if you come in this manner, 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 2, 11 square, 11 square plus 2, 13 square. So it can be 11 square here, 11 square is a possibility. Or else if they just take this 2 as a pair, so 7 plus 2, 9 square, the first two, and then 13 square, 13 square here, so plus 2, 15 square. So any of this, maybe 11 square or 15 square, but 11 square feels to be more uh, perfect than 15 square because everywhere plus 2, plus 2, plus 2 will come. But yes, first let us check with 11 square. So 59 plus 7, uh, 59 plus 7 plus 47 plus some number should give me 121, which is 11 square. I'm checking out first with 11 square. So 59 plus 7 plus 47 is uh, 113. 113 plus x is equals to 121. So value of x is equals to 121 minus 130, which is 8. Yes, 8 is there in the option. So what's my answer? Option See, even if you check 15 square, it will not come. 113 plus x should be equal to 15 square, which is 225. So value of x will be more than 100. That's not even there in your option. So 11 is actually more appropriate. But even sometimes they might just take this two as a pair and this two as a pair. So plus two plus two. So squares of the numbers is given. 7 square, 9 square, 11 square and 36 square. If you add all of them, that should be 7 square, 9 square, 11 square and 13 square. So what is the answer? Option C. So these are some of the questions that appeared in Infosys before. Puzzle solving questions. So hope you understood. Thank you for watching the video. And do subscribe our channel for more updates about our videos. Thank you.